Hi for MSBN, I'm Dominic Panza, and I'm joined by Millersville Distance coach Andy Young getting ready for NCAA Division II National Championships. Andy, we have Alicia Anderson headed back to the National Championships again this year. She'll be competing in the 5K and 10K. Coming off of the PSAC Championships, what's your approach leading into the national event? I think the, the biggest thing for Alicia is to just get her there healthy and in a good frame of mind. And if we do those two things, we're going to be all set. She's, she's trained so hard this year. She's really kind of developed as an athlete, and we're hopeful that, that we have a really nice performance out of, out of this NCAA championship. There is a long layoff of three weeks, a little bit more than three weeks from the last time that she would have competed to her first event at the national event. Does that help her when you said trying to keep her healthy and get her on that path? I think so. I mean, for her, she likes to train. She likes to train really hard. And to get her out there and have a good block of training before nationals probably will give her the, the confidence to go into that national championship feeling like she's ready to go. They'll be making a long trip all the way to Colorado, and what are the travel arrangements? Are you all situated at this point? Still working on that one. That's a work in progress, and uh, all we know right now is our hotel information. That's all. <laughs> Speaking of Colorado, you have the atmosphere. How does that impact all of the athletes that will be competing? I think for distance athletes especially, it's a challenge because it's about a mile high uh, relative to here. So the athletes from Western State and, and uh, Adam State have a clear advantage at, at a place like uh, Pueblo. Um, athletes that are sea level like us, um, you know, it is more challenging. And it will be a challenge for her to deal with the elevation, uh, especially in anything aerobically based like a 10K or a 5K. So um, the, the plus for us, though, is just about everybody else there except for those two schools that I mentioned. They're the same boat as us, so she'll be dealing with the kind of level playing field with everyone except for those two schools. When she finally gets to the starting line, what will be her approach in the 5K and also in the 10K? The 10K, which would be the first event she'll compete in. I think 10K, we, we kind of want to get her in a position where she can score and be in the top eight. She was fourth last year, and we hope to at least get to that point right now. She is ranked sixth uh, this year, and, and certainly the 10K field is a little bit deeper than it's ever been. Um, but realistically, she's a good racer, especially in 10Ks when it comes to those type of events. And uh, I could see easily a top eight position. And, you know, she could go as high as I think second or third if, if she has a great day. So Alicia is a really tough athlete. She trains really hard and she works really hard. And I think when it comes down to it, she knows how much work she's put into it. And that does give her some semblance of, of confidence going into those type of races. So you know, the 5K, the 10K, she knows she can hang. She knows she can run 16, 18-mile long runs. So a 10K, a six-mile race, not that big of a deal for her. So I think that alone, that confidence of, of all the training that she has done over the last years um, will allow her to perform pretty well there. So, Safe travels to Colorado. We'll be following you the rest of the way. Thanks. Appreciate it. For Andy Young, I'm Dominic Panza. This has been MSBN.